Meow. Oh, hi. Okay. Here's a situation. Today's Monday. Um, we got up this morning. It was really foggy. And Doug took Brody for a walk. Where did you all go? Uh, we just walked uh, downtown. Uh, and then we, we took a little detour up uh, Mountain Road, which is where uh, several restaurants and bars and things are. Uh, so we headed up that way, and there was a surprising amount of traffic. I, f I forgot it was Monday, which was great. Um, but, yeah, I was really surprised with the amount of traffic uh, on the road. So we went over to uh, this bike path, which was a lot quieter, and um, it was a pretty decent walk. Um, one update, I, I weighed in this morning, and I was uh, at – I was uh, – 0.2 pounds below my goal, so um, I quickly weighed in and then uh, was able to drink water again and uh, eat normally. So I feel much better now, and I've been eating uh, food yeah. like I normally do. The so, word was avocado. Yeah, the word was avocado. That's right. So after I got back from the walk, we had to figure out what we were going to do, and I'm still on you know normal working. Uh, like a working schedule, so I woke up at a little before six, and by the time I walked and got back, it was like seven o five or something like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, we had to figure out what to do, but most places were still closed, and then we uh, talked about it. Yeah, and uh, we tried to do a hike that was rated moderate. It was three point two miles round trip. It was the pinnacle. Stowe Pinnacle hike that was just mm -hmm. a few miles away. Um, so we thought, you know, moderate, only 3.2 miles, that that should be okay. And we got over there, and it was, we think moderate was a um, forgiving rating. Yeah, it was basically uphill the whole way, and it was very steep, like really steep. So I think... There may have been some sections which could have been called moderate, but there were definitely sections which were strenuous or extra strenuous, very steep. And I, Brody couldn't make it, so we had to we rested and, and let him rest some more, and just so steep that it was it was really hard for him to go up the steps and stuff like that. So we got we, just, we got about halfway, right? And yeah. then turned and then Doug went ahead for a few minutes and then we turned around. Yeah. So. Um, and going downhill was really easy for Brody, but it was really hard for us to do. So our legs were kind of sore after going down like that. So. We're standing in the uh, United States post office doing this video. So if you see us turn around and check yeah. cars, we're wondering if people are going to come by and be like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, and, and Brody is just chilling out. So. Um, okay, so... That's what we did in the morning. We went for a hike, and then we um, decided to cut it short. Well, we saw a weasel on the hike. Yeah, there was a weasel, and it kept trying to... Uh, we thought it was a cat at first. It was very cat-like in its movements. Uh, it kept trying to sort of lure us to where it was at. And um, Brody, he never saw it, which was kind of funny. But um, He yeah. only saw a mouse. Yeah, a mouse, which was uh, just... Brody never saw that either. He just, he was very uh, tired. <laughs> so um, on the way down, we figured out that we wanted to go uh, to this resort. It's very famous. The Trapp Family Lodge, the actual Von Trapps from Austria that the Sound of Music, um, this is where they ended up once they left Austria. It's not their original house I read. It, it burned down. And they rebuilt it, but um, but yeah, the actual Von Traps and one of the kids still runs the property in some capacity. I'm sure he's not the line cook, but so we went and had um, had lunch and a beer outside there at their little brewery and bakery. Yeah, and they do loggers there. I think they had four things. Uh, we got two of them, and they were awesome. They, they were really well done, and um, it looks like they're building another larger uh, brewing facility in the next year or so. But, man, it was really good. I was 
starving. That was my first real meal after the uh, probably in in like a month. Weeks, yeah, yeah. <laughs> many weeks. So, um, yeah, it was really good. We got um, brats, sauerkraut, and potato salad, along with a veggie wrap that had like caramelized onions, garlic, and maybe some peppers in there. It was really good, and then like a garden salad. So, yeah, that was a really pretty good lunch we had there. And then um, after that, we were, we're pretty tired. We took a look at the grounds there, and it was really beautiful. Uh, it's green, and there's mountains all around. You can see the valley down below and all that. Um, we headed back down to the, uh, the uh, what do we call our place? The apartment. The apartment in so, and we took a nap for a couple hours. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, and then what happened? We got up, we went to Ben and Jerry's, took the factory tour there, which was really short, but um, but it was neat, some interesting information about the company and just their environmental practices and how they started up, things like that. Got some nice sam ice cream samples. Yeah, yeah, very, very quick tour. I think we're done with the whole thing in like 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and the ice cream, it was good. it was really good, very good. They have a sample if you're in the vicinity, you should go, go on the tour. Um, and then we uh, headed. Uh, we're Ben and Jerry's is very close to um, Waterbury, and uh, we were just you know five ten minutes away, so we decided to head down toward that part of town uh, and just grab something to eat, and we got a beer. So we found two really awesome places. One was uh, the Beer Cellar, which is just a bottle shop that had beer and mead and uh, a growler station. And then the other place was called Prohibition Pig, Prohibition Pig, which may or may not be a chain. We need to look into that because it seems oddly familiar. Yeah. The branding, uh, all the, they had a lot of chalkboard art. So all the branding and everything looked uh, familiar and they had three or four beers on tap from Prohibition Pig. What's the name? Prohibition Pig. So. Um, and then uh, the food there was great. Uh, we actually didn't get that. Actually, we didn't get any true barbecue, but we may do that in a day or two. So um, we did have something pretty nice. <laughs> we had a mac and cheese bowl with um, bacon. And it was served in a cast iron little single serving skillet, which we have at home. So we need to do more of that stuff. We've had that kind of thing before and tried to make it yeah. once um, on our own. Someone's coming to the post office. I need to go check on Broad. We'll take it over to Right. So they had uh, a couple of different kinds of Vermont uh, cheeses. Very good. And some home cured bacon, which we have on hand all the time so we're definitely going to try and do that um, coming up here soon. And um, after after that we headed back over to the the beer shop and we actually got a few things tried to focus on Vermont beers and <laughs> tried to focus on Vermont beers and we have um, Enough beer to, you know, last us through a, a day or two, I think. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that uh, that's about it. And then we, we came out for a walk here, and um, we may grab another beer in town here later. Not sure. What else? What else? Anything else? I can't think of anything else. We, um, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Day, full day one in the books. It's beautiful here. And I, oh, that was the other thing about the Ben and Jerry's. It was the little factory, but then the property was just expansive and beautiful. And we sat on a bench outside and it's just really nice up here. So, you know, it's spread out and green. It's nice. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll check in tomorrow. Go, oh, bro.